Tell me about the village. Ooh, Sounds God. like it's going to be incredible. <laughs> when you first got the script, what were you thinking? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. I'm a very excitable person about good writing. Yeah. And that was, it hit me immediately. I mean, when you get a script, you immediately, I mean, you're looking at the character they want you to portray. You get that. But this was so much more expansive because the character, my character, Ron Davis, on this show, I love him just with all my heart. Mm -hmm. But every single character you fall in love with, and I think the audience is going to fall in love with. The writing is, is extraordinary, and the acting is amazing, and just the story itself is... Yeah. It's brilliant. I, and I think, too, the, the audience will be able to resonate with each of the characters because we're dealing with so many things, issues, PTSD, teenage pregnancy, um, terminal illness, uh, insecurities, immigration, uh, immigration issues. issues. Separation of the daughter Separation and of mother. The, yeah, it's just I mean, and so many things that's happening that's a reflection of today's society. So I think people gravitate toward that, man. How emotional do you think people will be watching this show? <laughs> yeah, well, capital E. Yeah. <laughs> capital E. Yeah. 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 And uh, yeah. I have a South, South Philly story because uh, my, the godmother of my sister was from South Philly, so we spent a lot of time there, and I did some of my earliest singing there at some of the clubs in South Philly. Uh, it's a great town. Do you like cheesesteaks? Ooh, I yeah, I had, I, had, I, had, I, had, I had it. I had it. I had it. Both not, because this is so good. I had it once, true. yeah, and, I, and yeah. I enjoyed it. What can we expect from your characters, your character on the show specifically? Well, for my character, I, I'm I'm a I'm the bedrock of this community. I'm myself and uh, and my wife, played by uh, Lorraine Toussaint. We are, you know, I'm the super of the building, and I also run a little jazz club called Smalls on the side too. But we're sort of the anchors, you know, we're like the mama and papa figure, you know, everything, a lot of the stuff run through us. We are the, you know, because we've been there and we co everything, we coordinate everything and everybody sort of comes through us eventually, either her or myself. And uh, you can expect to see us solving problems, helping other people with problems, and then you find out that we have some secrets. Mm of our own yeah. and I think that's the yeah. brilliant thing about the writing when you find these little yeah. tad bits of you're like whoa yeah. where did that come from do yeah. both of you hold secrets too oh, we all yeah I think each them. one of us right uh, mm -hmm. uh, my character's name is Ben Jones and I play a, a New York police officer who recently I moved to the building and um, he falls for a young lady of the building mm -hmm. and uh, who's currently battling uh, immigration um, her immigration is in question, and so it leads me to look after her son. But my um, a loss that I've suffered uh, informs my relationship with him. So yeah, it's yeah, it's potent. It's very potent. Yeah. And my uh, character Enzo is uh, an old man coming out of a nursing home, reuniting with his grandson, who who, who inherited the apartment. I've been in that building 50 years. What I like about it is that. Uh, it reminds me of my own grandfather, mm. how close, how closely I, I, I imitated him because I loved him so much. And, uh, and I'm working with uh, a marvelous young actor named Darren Kagasov, who's, uh, he plays my grandson. So I like that kind of feeling, yeah. you know. And also he represents, I mean, Enzo, I mean, his character and Dominic as well, they represent a simplicity and honesty and truth that you can find in his generation that you don't find so much now. People, it's hard for people to be straightforward and say something, you know, and really mean it. You know, like, I, I appreciate uh, this about you. I think that's nice about you. Yeah. Enzo, he holds back nothing. And it's always that repartee between Enzo yeah. and any character is, is a treasure. So yeah. Dominic, that's, we're all just so blessed to have you there. Thank you. Mm. We look at the popularity of This Is Us, you'll follow right after. Mm -hmm. Is the country craving more like this? Shows that have meaning and leave you with a warm feeling, even if they're tears, it's a good cry. Does the country need more of that now, you think? <laughs> Without a doubt, yeah. I would say yes. Yeah. And I think that the, all the good thing about this show, um, not only do you get that, but you also get a lot of humor. There's a lot yeah. of humor in this show. 
People yeah. are able to laugh. Yeah. They laugh at situations. Yeah. And I think that any show, if it's all serious and you can't find the humor mm -hmm. in it, yeah. people, it's hard for them to connect. But this show is filled, it's filled with that situations yeah. that are honest yeah. and they can be sad, but they're humorous at the same time. Yeah. So It's a different negotiation for so many of us, right? Yeah. It's, it's, it just shows us as, as a unit that we can negotiate through issues and problems with humor or understanding that we all have something going on, right? That's why Smalls is, is big. We go there because, you know, pour up your problems, you know? <laughs> but at the same time, we'll figure it out and that as long as we are blessed with another day, we'll be fine. So I think this, this show will give people hope. You'll be surprised. I mean, the people don't actually know their neighbors. Yeah. We know our neighbors here. So hopefully we can give some people some insight on what that's about. Because right now the telephone, the, 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 that's how we uh, yeah. negotiate now. But this kind of removes that yeah. and it takes us back to the original blueprint of how to negotiate. People will start to look up, pay I think attention. So. I think so. I think that's and important. it spans all ages. I mean, we have yeah. the youngest character is 17. Yeah. yeah. And the oldest character is 87. <laughs> whatever they say. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. and everybody fudge in the middle. I mean, it, yeah. it deals with every age yeah. and the ethnicity is, yeah. I mean, every ethnic, you know, ethnicity you can imagine. Yeah. It's, it's situations. Yeah. That, yeah. That, and, and like, it's funny, we're going to follow, I mean, we're going to follow This Is Us because This Is Us is that's that show, but This Is Us. This is us too. Right, right. This is our this show. Is our this show. Is yeah, our yeah, yeah, yeah. People can, yeah, you know. Yeah. I mean, you want to go to a hospital to get healing, so that's the village, you know. Yeah. Well, we can't wait to watch. We're so happy NBC has you. Yeah. Well, we are glad, glad and happy yeah. to be NBC. Shout out to Philly. I love Philly. Uh, Allen Iverson was my introduction to that. But before was uh, obviously Fresh Prince because of Will Smith's character. And then, you know, Rocky and, and just Eagles and. Yeah. Rocky, seven, 1976. Yeah. That saved my life. That, that's Tell me about that. I was in a very bad spot in those days. Yeah. It really saved my Just thanks for mentioning it. Because yeah. I was depressed, I had a divorce, kids taken away, all that stuff, you know. And I went to see Rocky, and that helped. Mm. Mm. It helped because it, uh, my, my, my father's brother was a boxer, uh, amateur boxer, but a boxer. And he always said, if you get knocked down, kid, you got to get up again. Mm. And I was really knocked down in 76, May, f yeah, yeah. Wow. separated from, it was yeah. May 19, 1976, yeah. and I think Rocky came out that year. Wow. So it was an iconic movie for me. Yeah. Wow. It was a real turnaround for you. Real, real, it really helped. If I ever see Sylvester Stallone, I gotta, you know, yeah. tell him. <laughs> yeah, you know, stairs, like I wanna do those stairs. You've got to run the Rocky steps. Just, yeah, you haven't yeah, done yeah. that? Nah, You've got to do that. Nah, it's coming up. Yeah. Philly yeah. will be in your village. We'll welcome you in. Yeah. Aw, yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you all. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.